everybody, it's Amelia and Adina, and get ready for this fun interview. Today, we're with Rosalind. We have questions for you today. So you do a lot of things. Specify what you do sure. and tell me what your favorite thing about it is. Okay, so I do do a lot of things. Um, three main factors of my job. I'm an entrepreneur, so I help uh, launch and sell and market companies like MySpace.com back in the day, my own company, MyDivio. Mm -hmm. I am also, I work for brands and influencers and helping create marketing strategies and talent book for events and that's why I'm here. I'm here because we booked Pilo for the Filipino Heritage yes. Night Golden State Warriors game tonight and so that's another thing. I uh, produce events and I just help connect the dots with people but most importantly I love just inspiring uh, the youth like yourselves which in, in, in everything that I do whether it's through talks, whether it's through ebooks, etc. Mm -hmm. So a lot of different things but basically I work in the music industry. Yeah. <laughs> So out of all your titles that you have, do you have um, one that means the most to you? Yeah, after uh, growing up, I realized it's not necessarily about what you do, because I, I used to be about titles, right? So I was the head of artist relations at MySpace, or I was the head of artist relations at different companies. Um, now I work with ABS-CBN, which owns uh, TFC and, and Mix TV. But it's really, for me, it's about purpose. So my purpose in life is to create memorable experiences so people feel inspired or supported or motivated. And that's really what my job is. So it's whether it's having dinner with my family, dinner with my friends, or it's producing a big show at Staples Center or Oracle Arena. It's all about that purpose of creating memorable experiences. I think that's awesome. Going back to uh, booking Pilo for tonight's yeah. uh, Warrior Game, it's Filipino Heritage yeah. Month. And uh, could you tell me what it means to you to yeah. represent uh, Filipino American. Yeah. I love it. So I've worked in mainstream music for a long time. I produced uh, concerts and editorial programs with artists like Drake or Justin Bieber or Justin Timberlake, etc. But when I went to the Philippines with Apple the App of the Black Eyed Peas, I was inspired to give back to my own community and work with my own community. So it's really, I mean, as a Filipina woman, you know, it's inspiring to see you guys at your age to be doing this. But it means so much to me to be able to produce these uh, great events or book artists of our own culture for something so big, you know. So we work with Sweetie. Uh, we ha we're doing four events with her. We worked with uh, Pilo. We did a Manny Pacquiao uh, fight weekend after party. So to get these b uh, artists that are so good, like Pilo, performing in that arena where all of our people are, it just continues the excitement of like uh, of bringing our community up. So we won a Golden Globe this year. We won a Miss Universe. Her won a Grammy. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's a big year for Filipinos and for, for that pride. I'm always excited to be a part of it. And now I've joined the Capamilia, the ABS-CBN family, and, and Mix TV to, to continue that as well. So you do a lot. Do you have any inspiration? Uh, what's your main inspiration and your secret to success? My main inspiration is the youth, so seeing all of you do what you do at such a young age. You know, I was a DJ in elementary school. That's how I started out. There's, uh, there's young girls. You guys are dancers. You guys are hosts. And, you know, just to see... Uh, to be inspired because you have supportive parents like your dad. I didn't really, um, growing up, I didn't I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do and I didn't uh, know how to express it enough, well enough that my mom could 100% support it. So now she, she su completely supports me and I wanna support the youth and that's what inspires me is working with all of you and, and knowing, you know, because uh, we've all done it. You know, yeah. there's people like Anthony Presents, there's Sweetie, there's Pilo, there's people that have pursued careers in entertainment and have been successful, so why not all of us? So what advice do you have for children like us nowadays who want to grow up and be successful in their dreams and life itself or maybe want to fall in your footsteps? I think that the most uh, biggest piece of advice I'd, I'd have to give is that sense of purpose so what do you want your purpose in life to be you know as well as your brand when you walk out of the room what do you want people to think about you you know they want to think oh she's nice she's she's a good host she's they're caring like think about that building your personal brand and your purpose at such a young age is important rather than thinking of what do I want to be when I grow up because you're already grown up <laughs> so you can you don't have to know what you want to be, what you want to grow up, but you know who you can be exactly right now. You can live in your purpose, and you can inspire uh, even at a young age. Mm -hmm. So is there anything else you'd like to say, uh, like your social media, something else you want to point out? Yeah, you can find me on Instagram at Rosalind C, R O S L Y N N C. I give away free ebooks about following your uh, footsteps, following your uh, your passionate. Uh, 
career moments that you would want to live in. Uh, RosalindC.com is also my website. And Mix TV, it's our cable network. We feature a lot of great artists in 50 million homes from DirecTV, Time Warner, Cable, Tubi TV, Samsung TV, etc. So we'll be seeing a lot more artists. We just uh, shot, or we're going to be shooting a lot of uh, really great talent that you guys know as well, from the Pilos to the Sweeties to you name it, to Alex Ayono, Anigo Pascual, and uh, Leroy Sanchez, a bunch of really good, talented artists. Ask if there's any upcoming projects that you wanted to share. Yeah, we're, I mean, Anthony Presents and I are in the, on a birthday tour. So this is birthday number five for me. We started out with E40. Uh, we did uh, YG at Staples Center. Uh, it's Hawaiian night tomorrow. Uh, and then we're also doing Soldier Boy. And we're going to Taipei, Taiwan, and the Philippines. Uh, we're going to be with Anigo Pascual back in, in Vegas at the end of the month. So the next two months are just going to be a series of birthday events because we want everybody to feel like every day is their birthday. You know, they should celebrate, you know, why do, we, why do we just wait for one day? And so we created these memorable events for, th for, for the next two months, and then we're going to expand it and expand it, and we're just going to say the birthday tour is basically all year. Thank you for your time. It's Amelia and Adina dabbing out.